Rub up your engines! Today I have a very interesting car. Believe it or not, this 01 Corvette can get 30 miles a gallon going 70 miles an hour because it's got a six speed transmission in it and it's set up perfectly. And the guy only paid 26.9 for it with 30,000 miles on it. They keep them in garages. Hey, my grandfather had a black one. And you know what he did? He wouldn't take it out if it was even raining or there was a hint of rain. He'd keep it in the garage. You can find these things. And at that price, everybody thinks, oh, they're tremendous gas hogs. Now, if you drive like an absolute maniac, yeah, he's talking about going 70 miles an hour, not shifting gears. He's in top gear and six gear. It, can do that if they're set up right and you're not doing burnouts every two seconds, right? You can see, if you know anything about these vets, the headlights stunk. So he put these cool LEDs on and he said it was very simple putting them in. So I added these cool turn signals. Look, he also put LEDs on these because if you know anything about vets, the regular ones, especially if they got daylight running lights going on them, the regular filament bulbs would melt the plastic. These are LEDs. They don't get hot. They don't melt stuff. And man, they look a lot cooler too. He left the factory exhaust. <laughs> Got a nice sound, but it's not outrageously loud. What's the point in having a nice car if you don't drive it? He drives it every day unless it's snowing or having problems outside. What's the point in having a car like this if you don't drive it? In the year he's owned it, he's put one third of the mileage that it had when he bought it that had been put on in, you know, 20 something years. So it's holding up perfectly fine, but he wants something that he's going to drive. Like previous owner obviously did not. He put 30,000 miles on a thing in 20 some years. So you can actually find a lot of them. You might not find one that's in a great shape like this one is, but a lot of times you can because guys baby them. I mean, look at the inside. Does this look like a 20 year old car? You know, 23 year old car to be exact. No, it doesn't. Now, yeah, this is what people really want is a six speed manual transmission because then it's a real Corvette. Now, so it's an older car, but anything on it can be upgradable. He's upgraded the stupid Delco radio. He's got it all set up so he can see where the police are using the system that he has, right? You can upgrade this stuff. You know, you can make it as modern as you want. The big advantage of buying a car like this is it's a manual transmission. 96% of Americans can't drive manual transmissions. So there goes a bunch of competition when you're going to buy it, right? It's a very limited vehicle. There's a certain amount of people that want to drive something like this and when you consider the average car today new cars about 45 grand he got this for like 25 with 30,000 miles and he can get 30 miles a gallon in this thing on a highway now granted if when he gets 30 miles a gallon he is using premium fuel and you won't get 30 miles a gallon running regularly unless he runs high tests to get 30 miles a gallon but something this much fun to drive this much power to get gas mods like that Hey, that's right up there with some of the modern cars, and this thing is 23 years old. And I personally always like black motorcycles. Most of the ones I have, they ended up black. I'd paint them black. Hey, it's a nice color, and it doesn't shout out. It's not a yellow Ferrari. You're just asking for the police to pull you over. Plus, the insurance on this thing, at least if you're like me and him, you're old enough, it's not all that expensive. He's paying about 55 bucks a month. He's 42 years old. He doesn't have marks on his license. Obviously, he's been using his radar detection equipment. He said he saw where all the cops were when he came driving here this morning. So, memory seats, the steering wheel moves towards you, the seat moves forward. Hey, it's a 23 year old car and it does that. Now, it's got traction control, so. First thing we're gonna do is turn that off. And he likes it because it doesn't have the fancy shock system that costs a fortune when it breaks. Hey, he added that on, of course. That's not stock. I mean, anybody knows that. But it feels like it just came off the factory floor. Well, he bought it with 30,000 miles, and now it's got 41. That's nothing on one of these things. But like you said, he saw them all over the place, and he just saw this was the best one. He didn't clay bar it and wax it. He bought it that way last year, and it's still holding up quite well. All right, here we go. Whee! 
I won't be getting 30 miles a gallon in this thing. It's a go-kart on wheels, but it's still got a reasonable amount of technology. I turned the traction control off, obviously. You can hear the tires going, but hey, when you want to pass somebody on this thing, all you got to do is go down the gear and floor it. Woo, you got to pass anybody. And like I said, it makes a nice sound, but he kept it stock. So this is not going to pull attention. Somebody outside isn't going to hear horrible whop, whop, whop noises. It's just going down the road. But man, when you want to go down the road, it goes down the road. Whee! Now the only problem with this car is people are going to get in your way and you're not going to like it. So you got to try to control yourself or do like I do and drive them on country roads when there's nobody around. Now we're just cruising along and really, it doesn't have the fancy shocks, but hey, it rides quite smoothly. It's not like the older ones that were like a bucket going up and down. It's still got a really smooth ride going down a road. I thought it'd be bumpier, but it isn't. Now, interestingly enough, this is his third Corvette. So you might think, what are they, junkers? And they fall apart and he's got to buy a third one already? Well, the first one got flooded in Katrina. Then he worked on boats and stuff. He was living on a boat in Florida and an illegal alien stole that Corvette, the second one, and flew through the windshield when he ran into a divider on a highway. And that was the end of him and the car. So he just had to get another one. His insurance company didn't care. Like I said, he's paying 55 bucks a month because none of it was his fault. He didn't get speeding tickets. He didn't run into anything. Somebody stole one and the other one got flooded in Katrina. So he loves them. And I got to say, I've never had so much fun in a Corvette. Now this is the basic coupe. It's got the removable top, but one thing about this, if you're really gonna use it as a serious car, now he added this cup, buddy, and there's a big reason, because these stock holders are crap, and as he says, your Mountain Dew or your coffee is gonna go all over the place, and it won't with that. Simple, got it on Amazon and stuck it in there. Now, I wish a couple weeks ago our customer would have had one of those, because they didn't, and they left a big sugared coffee in the middle. It destroyed my phone. So I had to get a new phone too, not just a new kitten, but a new phone, cause the coffee got in it, it destroyed the microphone and no one could hear me. <laughs> so <laughs> I learned my lesson. I'm gonna leave these in my pocket from now on, not put them on the chair next to me because if coffee is gonna come out and spill, it will destroy your phone. They claim these things are waterproof. I guess they're not capable cappuccino proof. It wasn't even hot. It was just sticky and it ruined the microphone. But then again, now I got an eight. It works better. Broadcasts I do for live car talks come out better when I'm using them. So what the heck? <laughs> Sometimes good things come out of bad things. One of these, of course, you can add on whatever you want. He put on these nicer wheels and man, they're sharp. He also added the screen here because it looks cooler. You can play around all you want, but my advice is as he did with the exhaust and the engine. Before you start screwing everything off, drive this thing, if you're looking at one. If it runs like this and it's stock, leave it alone. It's plenty fast enough, but it'll get 30 miles a gallon on a highway if you're driving 70 miles an hour in six gear, you know? Because the engine's ticking over so low. It's like 1100 RPMs or something when you're going that speed. You can have an awful lot of fun with these and there still are quite a few of them out there. And when you consider what the new vets cost, and they're completely different designs, as far as I'm concerned, they're more like a European sports car, but the engines are eating the valves, the transmissions were leaking, they got all kinds of problems for all that money. Hey, you get something like this, modernize it like he did, hey, you can have a lot of fun for a lot less money. Now you can get them a lot cheaper than 25 grand, but you're not going to get one like this with 30,000 miles for less than 25 grand. <laughs> There's lots of them out there and you can pick and choose what you want to spend and what you want to get. But as I said before, the average new car is 45 grand. You can get something like this with 30,000 miles. It costs them 55 bucks a month to insure the thing. I gotta say, this thing was a lot of fun to drive. He's going to have a lot of fun with it. I just hope it doesn't go the way of his first two vets either flooded out or stolen and then the guy went through the windshield when he wrecked it, it was goodbye to two of them. So hopefully he's locking this up someplace safe. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.